So you may have seen a lot of these types of Instagram stories going around, people posting kind of this or that or current mood in GIFs or about me kind of templates where they will then put GIFs or little animated stickers into the spaces um, to fill out some kind of quiz or this or that type thing on Instagram. Obviously we're all um, sat at home not doing much at the moment so they've become um, a big thing again on Instagram. So I'm just going to show you how to make them really, really easily for your brand and business. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Canva. You can set up a free account with Canva. I do actually have a paid account, but everything that I'm going to be talking through in this video is available on the free account. So set up a free account if you don't have one already. And what you want to do first of all is just type into the search bar Instagram story. And then click on the first one. And it will give you some templates um, that you can go in and customize for general kind of Instagram stories. But if we click on the search bar again, it's going to give you some other suggested ideas. And the ones that we really want to look at are either the get to know me Instagram story or the this or that one. Let's just click on one of these and see um, what it comes up with. So here we've got kind of these um, templates that have got spaces for you to put your GIFs and stickers in or areas for you to circle a kind of this or that type option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this one to use as a starting point. So this will open up the Canva editor where you can literally change every element of this. This is just a starting template and you can zoom in like so. So just click on the text. You can change the fonts to be your brand fonts. Um, I have got a lot of different options here because I'm using the pro version and you can also upload your own uh, brand fonts here but usually they do have a lot of different fonts even on the free version so you should be able to find something if not that is similar to your brand fonts here so you can change this you can alter whether it's at an angle or not you can resize it to make it smaller and change all kind of aspects of the font size as well. And click to just drag it around the page here. You can also edit letter spacing really easily like that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on all of these fonts to change it to my brand fonts. And what I'm doing here is holding down my shift key and clicking on each one to create this kind of grouped, um, a kind of group of all the bits of text so that I don't have to go in and change them all individually. They're now as a group and I can just click and go in and change it to the font that I want and edit them all together. So now that is in my brand font. I'm gonna leave the color as it is. But in terms of the colors, what you can also do is change those. So let's click on the background here. You have the little um, color tile, just click on that to change it to your brand colors. I've got a little brand color palette here, um, which again is a pro option, but you can easily just pick one of the default colors or type in your brand color codes into the new color area and get the same effect. That's literally just for speed. With this, I'm just going to change it as well. And then what you can also do is double click on any of the text to change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to change that to my Instagram handle. And what you always want to be doing, I'm just going to delete this white block behind or actually ungroup these two things. There's a white block and a bit of text. I'm going to ungroup them and then get rid of that white block behind and just leave that as it is. And these pink guides show up as well to help you make sure that everything is centered. Um, yeah, so what you want to do with these templates as well is make sure that you've always got your Instagram handle in it because the aim is to obviously create something that's nice and interesting for people to look at for you to fill in. But what you also want to be posting is the template on its own without any circles or without any GIFs in it so that other people can screenshot it and save it. And 
and post it to their own stories too um, as kind of a fun activity and then people will see your Instagram handle at the bottom um, and be able to go and get it as well so it's just a good way of getting your brand name out there. Um, so as I said, you can go in and change all the text of this, make it something that is relevant to your business, or it doesn't have to be, it could just be something for fun, but it's a good idea to make it unique, because um, obviously these templates, anyone can use them. So make these options unique. Then what you want to do is just, you can change the name of it up here. And then go ahead and click the download button here and download as a PNG, just leave all those settings as they are and it will download it to your computer. There's also a Canva app on um, mobiles as well so you could actually do all of this within the phone app itself so you don't need to do this step um, but then just go into your downloads and you will see it in there. So what I'm going to do now is send it to my phone by right clicking it clicking on share and going to airdrop and this is a feature available with Max if you're trying to send files to him from your phone. I've unlocked my phone so that it's open and I'm going to click on it to just send that file over to my phone. And then I am on my phone now and I can see that this um, file is automatically opened up in my camera roll so that is all there and then I'm just going to go over to Instagram, create a story Go to upload an image by swiping up, select the file and that is it, they're ready to go. You can then select the little pen icon, change it to black so that it's visible and circle the ones that you want to circle. And then when you're done, just click uh, post to your stories. And remember to also post a version of this without any of your own customizations or your own GIFs and stickers on it so that people can um, save it and download it and post it to their own uh, stories as well. So that is how to create your own branded um, kind of this or that and customizable Instagram stories templates. If you do want to learn more about Instagram stories and how to use it for your brand, I have an online course all about this. It's called Instagram Stories Success. It's £40 plus VAT if you're in the UK or EU, and it will talk you through all of these, um, all of the steps that you need to use Instagram stories to build your brand and grow a community on Instagram. And it is full of little tips just like this one. You can go over to the landing page, the um, link is in the description of the video, and find out what is included in the course. There's loads and loads in there. So if you do want to learn more about Instagram stories, that is the place to go.